It's a long way from the bright lights of the AFL to the red dusty footy oval of La Germanu, almost 900 kilometres south of Darwin. Here, football is religion. The ball gets kicked from sun up till sundown, and today, one of the community's favourite sons is returning. I got the emotional feeling came in back to my um, inside of me, and as um, as I get off, got off from the plane, I didn't want to didn't want to worry about my luggage, luggage as well, bag, all that. I just wanted to go and grab my son. At 189 centimetres tall, Liam Patrick fulfills his godlike reception. It seems everyone wants to touch the man who possesses the freaky skills that have taken him to the top level of the game. You got to show the role model for kids um, what they need from like person like me from big, um, from the from the level that I'm playing now. Round eight of the AFL season is Indigenous round. The Gold Coast Suns take on the Western Bulldogs in Darwin. And it's fitting that Liam Patrick and Jared Harborough have taken time out to visit La Germanu. It's very special, I think, um, coming to such a, a remote community um, in the Northern Territory um, and seeing the type of uh, reception Liam gets uh, when he uh, gets off the plane it is, it is a massive buzz and um, it, it's goes to show that footy uh, can have so much impact on small communities and people and having role models like Liam uh, come back to his family and stuff like that is massive uh, for the community and for the people. But this visit is more than just about football. It's about teaching Indigenous children to commit to healthy living, education and respect. Yeah, I think that, that his message and, and what he says is, is very clear. It's about not sitting around at home, not lying in bed all day, not sitting around. It's being healthy, being active. It's coming to school, but also making sure that you're up, you're playing basketball, you're playing football, you're playing softball, um, you're being really active. You're coming to school, you're eating breakfast every day um, and you're getting enough sleep, going to bed. Police in La Germanu work closely with the community, in particular encouraging children to school and sports programs. Sergeant Gary Smallbridge, a former West Australian Football League player, knows the value of using sport as a tool to succeed in life. It encourages participation, teamwork, uh, healthy living and uh, positive role models within the Indigenous community and it's been a major stay and a very positive thing. We've lucky just had a sports carnival and the participation of kids and a number of Gold Coast sons uh, going around the community with Liam Patrick being part of the community is very evident. To have someone like Liam to aspire to is invaluable for Indigenous children. No, it's fantastic for us to have the opportunity and particularly for the community to have the AFL players here. They uh, absolutely look up to them and it's a fantastic opportunity for the kids to look at that. Indigenous Round is something the AFL takes seriously and is proud of the pathway it's created for Indigenous footballers. Indigenous players make up close to 10% of the players on our list. They're about 2.5% of the population, so they're obviously uh, massively overrepresented. And we see Indigenous Round as a, as a really important way for the AFL to celebrate uh, what Indigenous players bring to our game and to celebrate uh, everything they bring to us. For now, the focus is on one son, Liam Patrick, who carries the weight of his community and his people on his shoulders every time he goes into battle.